Hi, this is Martin King. Thanks for joining us today. I'm going to be covering the use of the Legacy System Sizer Engineering Tool. And one of the things I'd like to bring up uh, before I get started here, this particular tool does not replace uh, the need for a consulting engineering firm. This is uh, to be used as a tool uh, for our end users, contractors, and engineering firms if they just need quick and uh, easy information about sizing chillers and pumps and things like that. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to left-click on the Site Information tab. This is pretty self-explanatory. You're going to enter in your contact information, your uh, project information, and uh, that's pretty much it on this one. So we're going to go to the next one. This is our conditions. And uh, what we have to do is tell System Sizer some basic information about what's the coldest outdoor air temperature that you can expect uh, for this particular chiller. And then if you want to run glycol, you're going to be uh, running uh, whatever percentage you want. You can just select it here. And then, of course, you want to select or tell us what voltage your particular chiller is. Now, you'll notice throughout the system here, I have um, little uh, red uh, comment boxes here. So if you're ever uh, looking to figure out what you want to enter in a particular cell, just look for the red box, and it'll, it'll pop up, and you can uh, get some hints on how to do that. All right, so let's go to the process input page. And this is a, um, a graphic uh, that we did to um, put in uh, the, the basic information in the system sizer so it can help you calculate things. The first thing I recommend doing is uh, in this particular box, there's three of them, because you can do three different process loads. And what I'm asking here is the distance between the chiller location and your first uh, connection, your first branch offs, right? So this particular example, we only have one load, so we're only going to have one number here. If we have two loads and so on, you're going to put in that information, all right? So then uh, on the process load, what you're going to do is you're going to put in your uh, maximum flow rate, in other words, how many GPMs, gallons per minute that your process loads needs. You're going to put in your uh, temperature to the load, so what temperature do you want to have leaving your chiller uh, going to your process. Now keep in mind that if you're dealing with one chiller, uh, the uh, temperature to load on all three of these is going to be the same. So uh, it, you wouldn't um, uh, really do you much good to uh, ask one particular load for 50 degrees and one for 40 degrees and so on unless you have some type of a sophisticated control system. Uh, the next one here is your uh, estimated temperature rise. So if the fluid's going in at 50 for this example, we're uh, estimating that it's going to come out at about 60 degrees. So we have a 10 degree temperature rise. Uh, pressure drop, or excuse me, pressure to the load. Some loads require uh, specific pressures to be supplied, and uh, that's going to be entered there. So you're going to say this particular load, we want 30 PSI. Uh, the load pressure drop, so as the fluid goes through the load, there's going to be a drop, right? So uh, you need to put that in. And then your tolerance, so for example, if the, if the, the chiller's putting out 50 degrees, uh, what is your tolerance? So uh, can it go up to uh, 52 degrees? So we've said yes. So in other words, we've got a 50 degree set point. We're saying that it'll, it, it can allow as warm a temperature as 52 and as cold as 48. So that's what that means. Um, your branch pipe length, so that's basically going to be the distance of this particular header here, so uh, you want to put that in. And then the uh, branch fittings count, and this is a little difficult to get to, but if again, if, we, if you look at the um, hint box here, we just figure, uh, we recommend a, a ballpark to figure on uh, one fitting for every foot of pipe, and that's probably more than you'll need, but we have to use that to calculate your pressure drop, right? So you put all that information in, and then the next thing you're going to do is go over here to the output page, and um, what it's done here is it's calculating for you what your BTUH load is. Uh, it's telling you that in uh, both uh, BTUH and uh, KWH uh, tons. Uh, it's also giving you your uh, branch pressure drop estimated, of course, um, in PSI and feet, and it's also giving you an idea on how much fluid volume is in that particular drop. In most cases, that's not a big deal, but we have some applications that the uh, customer needs to know. Now, this gives you some really great information here, 
it's giving you recommendations on the size of the pipe. So it's recommending based on your requirements that you put in a one inch pipe for the supply and a one inch pipe on the return. And then it's also recommending a one inch pipe for your header lines for both supply and return. And it's telling you that you're going to have about a 10 GPM flow rate through your uh, headers. All right. And uh, so that's a, a pretty valuable. And the other thing that's also very helpful here is it gives you kind of a summary down at the bottom. It's giving you 50,400 BTUH uh, or four tons. And it also gives you the ability to know what your total GPM is and as well as your feet of head. So uh, that's um, going to be very valuable for, for pump size. And we get a lot of customers that will look us up and say, hey, I know I need a a 50,000 BTUH chiller, but I'm not exactly sure what my flow and my pressure requirements are for my pump. So uh, we send them this uh, spreadsheet, they fill it out, and it's uh, very, very helpful. Um, all right, so that's pretty much it. A uh, couple things on the home page. We have um, some handheld tools. We have a slide chart tool that you can purchase from our website. Uh, we also have an audit program if you want to know how much your current chiller is uh, using as far as energy, how to uh, give you some ideas on how to save. That's something you might want to check out. We also do uh, engineering consulting if you have uh, customers or if you're in need of uh, some assistance, chiller specific, uh, we can definitely help you with that. And last but not least, we have a very extensive non-brand specific knowledge base where you can get all kinds of information on how to do piping, uh, engineering uh, hints, uh, all type of stuff. So uh, please stop in there and check it out. Well, that's pretty much it. Again, my name is Martin King. Uh, thanks for taking a look at the System Sizer. If you have any questions, give us a call at 877-988-5464. And uh, you can also send us an email at support at LegacyChillers.com. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon.